association with Department of Student Service, Mahatma Gandhi University, Kottaya. Today, Dr. B. Harindran sir is with us. He is the academic director of Bharatamada Institute of Management. May I invite Dr. B. Harindran sir for felicitation for this program. Thank you, Mr. John. Good morning, Dr. Sharimon and all the delegates. Welcome to the proceedings of the second day of our international webinar on applied research. I am sure that all the participants have enjoyed the informative sessions that we had yesterday. As researchers, research scholars and PG students, we all know that while basic research seeks to advance the frontiers of knowledge by creating new theories or modifying existing ones, Applied research creates practical solutions for specific problems. Applied research is used by organizations and individuals for providing solutions to their existing problems. Thus, applied research is primarily concerned with examining empirical evidence for answers. It is really more concerned with the utility and value of research outcomes in terms of their end usage. No doubts why applied research creates new technology and development. Economic growth and associated improvements in living standards of different nations reflect a number of determinants. Those include increases in worker skills, rates of saving and capital accumulation, institutional factors ranging from flexibility of markets to the quality of the legal and regulatory framework prevailing in the country. However, innovation and technological change are undoubtedly central to the economic growth process. Some scientists feel that the time has come for a shift in emphasis away from the purely basic research towards applied science. This trend they feel is necessitated by the problems resulting from global overpopulation, pollution and overuse of Earth's natural resources. In this vast it is this vast scope for applied research in the field of technology, management, commerce, economics, engineering, and other social sciences that prompted the research committee of Bharat Mada College and the Department of Student Services of MG University to organize this international webinar on applied research. I wish the webinar a grand success and all the participants a different learning experience. World over, most of the applied research happen in universities. But unfortunately in India, contribution of universities in innovation and development of technology are comparatively low. Out of India's nearly thousand old universities, only a handful, handful of them conduct good quality research and have their papers published in reputed international journals. The rest are la la largely teaching focused universities doing little and probably some basic research. But if the country wants to play in the big league of science and 21st century knowledge led development and retain its top talent, then we would need world class research universities. For India to join the ranks of countries that have top quality research universities producing and sharing sophisticated research and knowledge, the country needs to identify a small number of competitive research universities and then support them so, so that they can achieve global standards. Let us hope that our central government will increase budget allocation for such purpose. Let me once again wish the webinar a grand success. Thank you.
Thank you, Respectable Haridran Sir. Now, may I invite Dr. Sister Tessi Thomas, the head of the Department of Commerce and the Research Guide of Commerce, uh, to deliver the welcome and introduction speaker, introduction to the uh, our main guest, Dr. Sherman Sir. Sister, please. Thank you, John Sir. Uh, respected dignitaries, dear participants, greetings from Bharat Mata College. And as we begin our second day of international webinar on applied research, I extend a warm welcome to you all. Today, the first session is about unleashing your research potential using research grant. As we all know, in the current scenario, and it always has been a very useful and relevant topic specifically to those who pursue applied research. For this session, we are honored to have an internationally acclaimed eminent research guide who is crowned with expertise and experience, Dr. Sherimon PC. Dr. Sherimon is a faculty member at the Faculty of Computer Science, Arab Open University, Oman. He has around 23 years of teaching research and administrative experience in different institutions. He's a former lecturer at the School of Computer Sciences, MG University, India. He also worked as the head of section in the Department of Information Technology, Higher College of Technology, Muscat. He holds two master's degrees in computer science and information technology and a PhD degree in computer science. He won the first national research award from the Research Council, Government of Oman in Information and Communication Technology sector in 2014. He's the first Indian national who received this award from the Government of Oman. He won Group Research Award from Arab Open University in 2015. He won Research Excellence Award from Mahatma Gandhi University, India in February 2020. Currently, he is working on a research project related to COVID-19 funded by Government of Oman. He has published more than 70 research papers in index journals like Springer, Elsewhere, a ACM, etc. and has presented papers in various international conferences in USA, UK, Russia, China, Malaysia, India, Kuwait, Jordan, Dubai, and Oman. He has also delivered keynote addresses in various conferences. He worked as chairman and scientific committee member in various conferences. He serves as the reviewer of TRC and other international journals. He also serves as a PhD thesis evaluation member in different universities. Dr. Sherimon serves as the principal investigator of many research projects funded by the Research Council, Oman, and other funding agencies. He has published a book titled Current Computer World. He is serving as the chairman of Bell Foods Group of Companies and managing director of Bell Neotech Private Limited in India. He is also the founder of Bell Institute of Research and Development Studies, India. Dr. Sherimon, sir. We are proud to have you with us during this session on behalf of Bharat Mata College and on behalf of all the participants of this international webinar. I cordially welcome you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, please. Yes, yes. Can I? Can I? Yes, yes sir. sir. You can continue. continue. Okay, okay. Thank you very much uh, for the wonderful introduction. Uh, I am very happy. Uh, I would like to, before I am sharing my presentation, uh, I would like to, you know, I mean, again, re-enter the word from uh, Harindran sir regarding the universities in India, uh, whether we have to decide, whether we have to think uh, in which mode we have to operate, either as a research university or a teaching university. Uh, I travel many countries, especially in uh, well-known universities all over the world and I always wonder why Indian universities are still feeling that we would like to be known as uh, teaching universities. Okay, what is a university? And even we don't want to differentiate between university and college nowadays. 
because teaching is no more the part of any academy teaching will be done by coursera or google or uh, udemy or there are many wonderful platform which is far far better than our faculty members those who are teaching in the classroom this is the reality whether we accept or not it is up to us okay this anyway realities are always bitter but we have to accept it i am trying to talk I, my plan today to talk about uh, research grant the funding opportunities and how what is the benefit of funding and what is the benefit of grant and how you can grant other than india that is also my plan or how you can go for international collaborations i was a faculty member in a school of computer sciences from 98 to 2003 in india and uh, that experience also i have with the indian education system so uh, i would like to share my uh, screen today with how you can improve your research potential with the research grant okay so i hope the screen is uh, visible now so again please note the title unleash your research potential using research grant okay this is the options this is the topic i will be talking about different grant opportunities in middle east india and how you can also be part of this research well this is my plan so again i repeat that today universities and their researchers are ranked mainly based on the amount of funding they receive the number of papers they publish and their intellectual caliber faculty are promoted according to the same criteria as well okay i repeat today universities and even colleges i don't want to differentiate between university and colleges because there is no difference all the colleges in india is is they have the capacity to be known as a deemed university we know that many of the institutions are moved from the university rank and even we have to think about this is the time to indian universities has to come out of the umbrella of the system of university it has to be each institution should be an autonomous then only they can perform because this is academics nothing else this is my personal opinion uh, i am always trying to talk about the reality but even though many people doesn't like the reality but this is the truth because individual institutions will get the freedom to do research and because there is no red uh, tapeism you can escape from that one okay so uh, i am focusing on faculty member i hope that those who are listening me today are faculty members so dear faculty members you have only two options in front of you either you publish or perish i repeat i repeat this word again either publish or perish no other option for us admin <laughs> the question is now why funded project what is the what is the reason for a funded project so you can see that these are the advantages what i am going to talk you about this one of course the first point is academic improvement definitely that is a fundamental aim of a project conferences and publications resource you can have equipment travel you can have your research assistant you can have the staff members and training opportunity definitely i would like to focus on last point again training opportunity for the students because you know when you are having a funded project you can give some incentives to your students honorarium to your students you can give them travel allowances and the students will be motivated actually okay so why we have to go for funded project so my complaint or what is what is my thinking when you are thinking about indian education system as harindran sir told that still our universities are not in the world rank university but imagine how much potential we have why not what is the reason is it because of lack of knowledge never is it because of lack of guidance maybe maybe i feel that maybe so i would like to come on this point all my international travel to different universities in the world lead me that the importance of funded project are you a researcher so i would like to remind one thing there is no more academician that is over there is no more academician we should not name a teacher no more teacher only if you are working in a college you are only a researcher because only a researcher can become a teacher 
because if you are not doing research any research okay and applied research is very important that is the need of the era need of the hour you think about the natural calamities and flood and everything is happening in even kerala so what contribution our universities can give what contribution our institutions are giving i am not talking about we are going there to helping or giving some food no how we can find solutions for all this that is called research anything anything so if you are not able to support society if you are not able to uh, find out the reason for fundamental reason for the issues in the world in the society what is the need of academic institution are we going to produce the degree holder no use that era is over even our academic system has to understand that there is no need of such system you should be a researcher so this is the time if you are not a researcher my request my advice from my experience to all because when i left in mahal magal the university in 2003 when i went out of india when i moved to other part of the world i realized that other world is moving in a different way in academic institutions so that's why i am telling that this is in 2021 almost 20 years i left india but my advice to all my colleagues in all the colleges this is the time you think about applied research because when you are going for any research if it is useful to society may it be social science or science or um, uh, mathematics or computer science doesn't matter it should have some relevance in the society that is important in covid 19 prove this one so uh, i i maybe i will try to finish maximum one hour 15 minutes and uh, we can wind up the session then we can go for the q and a session this is my plan so the question is now do you have an idea the first question everyone is thinking that how can i apply for a research project or am i eligible or am i capable or do i have the capacity to apply for a project even 2000 i think 7 2007 when i applied for my first funder project i had the same feeling that i will be able to apply for a project how i can get a project but once i get my project once i get my fund it give me confidence and motivation the same thing for all of us okay the question is now are you eligible are you capable are you able to apply for a project my answer to even an undergraduate students an undergraduate student have the capacity capability to apply for a project because anything in your mind if you have an idea that you can convey to us a research project so you think about this one this is very important research project because what is the difference between a normal project and research project definitely there should be some difference in the research project because it is research because there should be a research i am coming to that point so the first question is how you can get a topic can you use any topic no okay so i would like to start from the starting which topic assume that you don't have any idea you may not have any idea you are a normal faculty member no having a phd but you did not apply for any project maybe okay even though you are a research scholar Uh, and you did not have any project till in your life so can i have it yes you can okay how to get the topics that is most important i am not talking about the funding by the your university or your college i am talking about the international funding agencies please believe me there are many many funding agencies are ready with the fund they are looking to find out the right projects they are looking to find out the right researcher this is the big gap we are always talking about the industry academic gap but i am always talking about the gap between the funding agencies and academics academics are looking for the project funding agencies are there but nobody is there to close this link or to close this loop this is very important actually so how to get a good topic so anything because just imagine that any research which can support covid 19 nowadays is a hot topic so when you are selecting a topic if you are going to select a topic which is already very old topic nobody will fund people are i mean agencies are trying to fund on hot topic where they will get the benefit okay so another there are some website maybe i think yesterday and dr vinu maybe talk about this uh, tools maybe so these are the research tools we are using and you can use about google trends also okay what is trending what is trending that is you you can see you can just i, I have given a simple example of google trending you can see that how the corona virus see look in 2020 2020 when all covid 19 was the hot topic in the world that's why i am telling so topic which is uh, you know which is hot in the world which is always in the research interest and i will give one more tips i am trying to give you some tips also 
another tips i would like to give you that actually you know you know un un is the uh, united nations is the nodal agency for all over the world so un is giving some sustainable development goals they are giving some these are the sustainable development goals from un so if you can when you are selecting a topic if you can connect this topic with this sustainable goals from united nations you can easily get a fund because in your research proposal you can say that this topic is relevant this topic is relevant because uh, uh, you know uh, google i mean uh, united nation is talking about this one they are looking for research in this area so no funding agency can say that your topic is not good and this is not a trending topic this is an example i am going to show you okay my aim I, i repeat my aim today i would like to give you the opportunities okay how you can get fund you know why i am talking about fund i will come to that point again okay so think about one country for example oman is one of the uh, countries in the world where we are giving good funding options for anywhere in the world okay anywhere in the world means they will give only uh, universities in oman but we can collaborate to any part of the world so when you are going for a applying for a funded project in oman you have to think about oman priority because every country especially in middle east every country have a national priority so even a 20 before 2020 these are the national priority of the country i am i'm talking about example oman okay it was manufacturing mining fisheries tourism logistics and supply you may wonder why these points these are the points in 2020 vision of oman government so when you apply for a project in oman government sultanate of oman if you are if you can connect your proposal with these points definitely it will be funded definitely it will be funded because they are looking for that one so but in 2040 2020 oman bring the new oman vision 2040 oman vision 2040 and you can see that the first priority is going to make education learning and scientific research and national talents see look and second one is health i got a good amount of fund from oman government recently in my covid 19 research because government was ready to spend money for any research which is supporting the country in covid 19 so that's i'm telling that you more than your knowledge you have to use your practical wisdom when you are applying for any funder project that is most important actually these are the i am giving some examples okay don't think that i am talking about oman okay so i would like to give you some of my ongoing projects i am giving some of the uh, some of my ongoing projects in my university where i am the principal investigator the first one is the current the recent one is using clinical ontologies this is a covid 19 project which is recently i mean last year and this project is almost completed now this is a short time project it was 6 months project almost the project is completed and we have already given the prototype of the result is uh, already we, are, we passed this to government of oman a successful project from our university and you can see that we are using another as i, as, as I am from computer science you can see that all my projects from related to computer science but it is all cross platform even you can see that this project is health Uh, we, even the application is artificial intelligence but we are using the uh, opportunity with the health sector and job chain this is a blockchain platform okay it's a blockchain one of the leading uh, technology in the world and you can see that again you can see one title is called what with you with you means you know we are making a product a clinical a, a, again it is artificial intelligence for the alzheimer disease in oman this is applied research this is called what applied research because you know i am i am happy sir because our research is at the end of this project with you with you means you know we are we are trying to make a product an artificial intelligence product like a small robot which can support an alzheimer patient without or even it is stand by person to remind them support them everything because these products are i am sure that uh, we hope that this product we can make it in the market that is the research if you are able to develop a project that product if you are, if you are prototyping a product you know i am trying my level best to have a, a collaboration with a company a medical company medical application company to uh, to make our uh, device available in the market that should be the system that's why i am talking this is called what applied research 
Is it possible by a computer science professor? Yes, it is possible. It is. I am sharing my experience. All my talk today is from my experience. I am just sharing my experience with you. I can. Then why not? The other one is you can see that again. You know, it is asked. Maybe you, some of you know that. I am the chairman of Bell Foods Group of company, and uh, we have mainly uh, we have three domain. We are working in seafood sector and even in uh, IT and uh, research. These are the three domain we are working. And you can see that uh, this is the another options. I mean, another project which is uh, basically this is using ontology. Again, ontology is a artificial intelligence uh, component. Okay. Then again, you can see that another project which is ongoing project is a breast cancer. Breast cancer. You know, early detection of breast cancer. Look, this all are for the society. A funding agency will fund. I remember when I applied for a breast cancer project. The funding agency presentation, they told that no more discussion on this project. It is awarded. I was very happy. Many projects, they were big argument is going on about the budget. And in this project, I did not have any any bargaining for the budget of the breast cancer project because the government was very happy for such project. Proceed. We need such project. So any project which is related to breast cancer, there will be funding possibilities there. And now you know MOOC is I, this this project is before COVID-19. We started this project. MOOC Oman, you know that actually Oman is a small country, not a big country. So we are trying to develop a MOOC, a, a, a massive open online course platform for specifically for Omani students. We, instead of going for Western countries because their language is a problem, accent is a problem, there are many issues are there. But we would like to have a, a national wise. Okay, so even in Kerala or even India also we can have a national wise MOOC should be available. You think about all the MOOC platform. Is there any public popular platform of Indian universities? Still no, still no. This is the point we have to think that why Indian universities are not doing it. Why there is no such product from Indian university. This is the this is the point we have to question our academics. I know you will not agree with me. Most of you will be angry with me. But I openly ask this question: Why not? Why west? Why not east? This is an important question. Okay. And anyway, I'm not going to talk more about my project. Actually, there are these all are my almost 13 projects are going uh, uh, with me in uh, Arab Open University. So I am sharing my experience. So wherever I am talking, I am talking about the grant, grant opportunities, research opportunities. Okay. So my dear PhD scholars, even though if you are a PhD scholar, my dear faculty member, even though you are a PhD holder, okay, holder or not, even you are a scholar, doesn't matter. There is opportunity. Please explore the opportunity and try to get the grant. I'm just giving some of the information about some other project is going on with the research council. And I am the reviewer of the research council of Oman. That's why I'm talking about all the projects which I am coming to me, how the government is awarding the project actually. Okay. So the importance of interdisciplinary research. Okay, this is another question. Okay. I would like to tell all the faculty members here. Please note that. This, the, the era is over. We call commerce business management. Okay. Can you differentiate between commerce and management? No. Can you differentiate between computer science and management? Can you differentiate between health and computer science? No. Because the, the, I think we have to think about science or even commerce. This all management means everything is under that. So interdisciplinary. You think about a medical equipment. Is there any medical equipment in the world without computer science? Is there any research in computer science with the business analytics is there without business, without commerce, without accounting? No. Because there is, that era is over. Importance of, I repeat, importance of, is there any research in computer science without mathematics? Is there any good research in business management without mathematics? Mathematics is the fundamental. Is there any research in chemistry without mathematics? No. Because mathematics is the base for all these naturally. So that's why I'm telling import. I mean, all, all my research projects, I have a team either from uh, health sector, medical doctor, or maybe from the business management people, either from the normal social worker, normal business guys, because they all are, they all should be the stakeholder. They are the part of the system. So think about always, import. if you think about applied research, it should be interdisciplinary. Okay. So uh, it, it is almost uh, 25 minutes. I finish now. So, um, uh, Dr. Edish, uh, am I going uh, okay? Is everything is okay? Because uh, as it is a normal platform, I'm not able to get anything. <laughs>
So now your idea is ready, your project is ready. I believe that your idea is ready. And my intention, my aim, after my talk, after my presentation, because I am spending time. So at least you should be able to apply for a project. You should be able to apply for a project if you don't have. If any of those who are listening to me, if you have a project already, leave it. I'm not focusing on such people. I am focusing on the teachers or uh, research scholars, those who are those who don't have any project. I am looking on them. Okay. So every project there should be a PI, okay, a co-PI, a, 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 there can be consultant, co-investigator and research assistant, D depends on the uh, funding agency, but most of the agencies are uh, following the same pattern, okay. So now you have an idea and you make a proposal. Now the question is where to submit. This is very important, where to submit, that's I am going to cover, okay. Who are the funding agency? So according to me, research organization like research council Qatar foundation uh, kfart middle east there are many all the ministries they have the funding research fund you know nowadays the trend in the world is every ministries in the world every ministries in every countries they are they are just having some budget for this one semi government organizations then institutions universities arab open university is having a research fund we are giving a research fund for our faculties or even they can collaborate with anywhere in the world then the beautiful options. This is my request to all the Indian universities, private organization. I repeat, private organization. Please note that there are many private organizations. I will come to Bharata Madha Kolei Trikakara. Bharata Madha Kolei Trikakara is one of the nearest institutions with uh, business units in Kochi. If I am talking about a college in Kerala, which is very remote, uh, I, I, I may not be have in this opinion, but Bharat Mala Kola Trikakara is located in, 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 the, in the middle of business uh, area, business units. My question is, is the faculties of Bharat Mala Kola Trikakara approach any business organization, any business units in Kochi for a funded project? Even though the amount may be 50,000, maybe 1 lakh. 1 lakh is 1 lakh. So my question is, did you approach any private organization? The question special economics one is very near to you. It is your left side. If your right side, if you are going, there are many FACT and other things. When you are going the other side, uh, uh, Techno City, I mean, a uh, city is there. I mean, a uh, Info Park is there. Then, uh, then uh, Info City, many. I, I don't remember the exact word. So there are many. My simple question, all the faculty members in Bharat Mada College, did you approach any business unit in near to you and tell that we will try to solve a research problem for your company and we will support you? If the answer is yes, I am happy. If the answer is no, this is the time for eye opening. I have a factory in Cochin Special Economic Zone and I am happy to say that no one from academia approaches us asking about a research fund and in our budget we always keep as i am the professor in the university i always try to keep some research fund in our budget with the csr uh, csr option that means corporate social responsibility but i would like to say that none of the faculties from any institutions never approach us for any fund i am telling that we have enough money and we are trying to give no but i am trying to tell you that these are the possibilities we have to explore and when you get the fund, you don't have to apply for anything in the college. You can buy your own laptop. You can travel. You can travel any part of the world. When you travel, the confidence you are getting, the information, the knowledge you are getting is tremendous. This is the most important. This is called what? Applied research. Okay. When you come to my factory, you should be able to say that we will solve your problem. I always think that all the economic, special economic, Virgin special economics one is one of the one of the largest areas in business units. So all the units have a problem. If a researcher is coming and that, we will design this product for you. We will solve this issue for you. Every company will be happy. But unfortunately, this culture is not there. You, you think about US companies. You think about UK. You, you think about best. In best, companies are behind the academics. Okay. Unfortunately, in India, there is a big gap. Academia is going in memorizing education system and industry is going in their own way. We have to close this gap. Anyway, closing is not easy, but there are. 
come to middle east okay come to middle east what are the opportunities i am talking about private sector and government sector this is research council of man now it is known as ministry of innovation and they uh, apply the search and you can see that there are this is the nodal agency in oman giving fund for any project if anybody is interested you can collaborate with us okay i am i am going little fast to cover my topic you can see that every year many projects are awarded this is a news from the uh, newspaper please note about qatar foundation one qatar foundation is one of the largest funding agencies in middle east okay i'm just giving the name and i will share this powerpoint with you if you are interested you can use it actually okay i'm just giving the options i'm just giving that there are options like this if you want you can use it actually okay then you can see that qatar extend research funding life outside also but you have to collaborate with the qatar university that is important i repeat that when you are collaborating with any institution you have to collaborate your institution with the, the institution the country that is the collaboration that is really wonderful you can travel you can have exchange everything is possible okay depends depends on the institution policy so this is i am going to united arab emirates uae they, this is in ras al khaimah you know ras al khaimah is one of the emirates in uae okay so uh, there are many ras al khaimah foundation is there ras al khaimah breast cancer association is there they all are ready to give fund okay and you can see sheikh saud sultan al qasmi okay this is the uh, this is a, this is a big foundation ras al khaimah they are providing the fund okay you can search everything is available in in internet actually okay this is a breast cancer you know these kind alzheimer breast cancer uh, these kinds of disease everyone is uh, really interested to fund even this is uh, funding by pfizer in cooperation you know pfizer is one of the uh, leading business uh, in usa and they have their uh, middle east region okay and those who have in the vaccine now see look I, i was just searching the external funding opportunities in uae i'm just checking only uae i got many 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 okay you try without trying how you can get the opportunity this is the question we all were telling you know do you have a project no no there is no project in our college and we don't have such system yes there is you try and you bring the uh, the, the I, i am this, i am not talking about money of course money is very important why i am telling about the funder project if you have a funder project the fundamental requirement is the publication so whenever a funding agency is giving you 25 lakhs indian rupees you have to publish minimum two paper so once you get money you will be published you, you don't have any other option they will say that either scopus or isi or web of science okay so clarity analysis any kind of journal you have to publish so once you get money by default human nature we will be Uh, we will be we have to there is no other option for us we will be forced to publish this is happening this is i am building uh, a simple example of opportunities international grant opportunities in uae this all uae look how many how many research foundations are there many are you are you looking on it this is the question so i am going to kuwait kfas okay i have a project with the kfas okay you can see that kfas is one of the leading funding agencies is in kuwait okay so uh, you, you can you can simply find out the options in kfas uh, you can you can go through their website and you can try with their collaboration with any of the institutions in kuwait so definitely you will be able to get it okay if you if you try you will get one i am sure okay and this is efat efat university is mainly for ladies okay women's research in saudi arabia this is from saudi arabia so okay if you are interested in a uh, research especially for ladies any kind of women empowerment or something you can have it from efat university say uh, and i'm going to india so i'm not going to explain i found many 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 options in india okay so just try i'm not sure whether you will be this all government sector and uh, many private universities private sector i don't have time to explain everything so i would like to pass this information okay i will share uh, this uh, website i mean my powerpoint with you so uh, maybe uh, you will be able to see it in later okay so now the question is now what makes a good proposal okay i talk a lot now come to the point you have an idea and you have a funding agency and now you are going to write okay so this is the primary question how you have to write a research proposal 
according to my experience this is the area our universities are really in back really this is the reality i i found there are wonderful proposal i mean wonderful idea but it is not at all presented in a proper way so this is the question are you able to present everything is presentation you take something even you have a small idea when you are presenting this as something big that is an ability how you can get it only through experience so i am going to give some tips how you can make a good proposal i always wonder many of the faculty members in many universities and colleges and like you know this is this problem that problem problems are everywhere do you think that anyone in the world have without problem one way or other way everybody have a problem but and many of the people are complaining that there is no time there is teaching load this all are everywhere so if you want to, you decide first i would like to go for research or not if you want to really go for research you have to dedicate your life for research so if you think that i will work only from 10 to 4 10 to 5 in my life and the balance time for my family and my personal life you should not come to research i am i am i am very openly talking to you okay because ladies are mainly complaining that we have children but you have that issue of course, it's all up to you you have 24 hours i have 24 hours prime minister narendra modi have 24 hours uh, uh, san albert so i bharat mata college principal is having 24 hours everybody have 24 hours in their life as a day so how you are utilizing your time this is the question according to me i feel this all are easy i have 14 uh, funded projects is running i have 28 research assistants are working with me so i don't feel that i don't have time because you have to manage your time that is most important i, I am i am talking in between i don't want to give a, a, a technical talk or something i would like to share my experience with you a very cordial talk a friendly talk to everyone those who are listening to me because uh, after my talk if you are able to apply for a project i will be happy if you if you if you say later that uh, dr shalimon i got a project okay i will be happy that should be the aim because i am spending my precious one hour with you so how you can write a good proposal first point is good idea of course if the idea is not good immediately nobody will you know first any funding agencies as a reviewer when i am getting a proposal to review i am looking on idea first whether this idea is novel whether the idea is good whether the, uh, somebody has did this idea or you know because most of the proposal the project will be two about two year or three year so by this time somebody will be publishing or, or this all are the points we are discussing so novel idea that's i'm feeling actually if you are looking for a proposal which is near to you it is not international so it is practically useful so try for such idea this is the important point anybody can write proposal write project but what is the research please understand what is the research what is research the research is something which is not yet done by somebody i am doing a research which is somebody you know th there is no answer for it the answer is yes or no all the research may not be successful but research means some something you are going to bring new that is called research component so a clear description of the research activities what is that anyway uh, you can see that a clear description of the research activity because you have to clearly explain what you are going to do you are going to say that i am trying to find out some goal from uh, maybe from uh, some of the mountains in munar no way okay this is an idea you have to clearly explain that how you do it or how you can prove that this project there is something is there anybody can give idea anybody can bring thing that is the hypothecation anybody can do it but how you can justify your hypothesis that is very important actually okay then a good fit with the funding agency's priorities i told that when you are applying for a project in oman you have to think about oman government if you are applying for a project in cochin special a company in cochin special economic zone you have to go and tell them that actually we are able to do this project to you which is fit with your company's profile so you useful for you company will be ready but the idea i mean the idea which you are going to present in qatar may not be good in oman may not be good in usa may not be good in uk so you have to think about the need of the uh, agency okay budget very important 
I know that many proposals we rejected only because of budget. If you are able to finish one project in 5 lakhs Indian rupees, if you are requesting for a budget of 25 lakhs, nobody will accept it. Even we will not go for budget bargaining because uh, the reviewer understand that even the funding agency understand that they are not genuine people. Okay, a genuine, you have to put the budget genuinely. This is your my requirement. Then nobody will object you. Clarity of the work plan. Two year project, you have to give monthly. Monthly you have to give. What you will do this month, next month, next month. You have to give like that. And the last point, novelty of the proposal. Repeating, I repeat, novelty of the proposal. You know it, what is the meaning of novelty? Very important, if, you're, if your research is not novel, how you can claim that you can apply for a project? No way. So, you have to do a good homework before you apply. Okay. Then, my advice to all of you, before you write, read successful proposals maximum proposal try to read maximum proposal which is successful which is funded by the funding agency if you are looking to the funding agency's website most of the agencies they are giving these options they are publishing the former proposals if anybody needs the proposal even i can provide no issue now we are ready to the right i hope you are ready with me now writing pen to the paper okay so why funder project again you can see that nowadays a research is known as in google scholar okay i repeat nowadays a researcher is there in this loop okay every researcher in this loop if you can increase this loop you will be happiest man okay please note that every researcher in the world nowadays are you a researcher look into your google profile okay so no need of asking anybody, no need of asking any pro, any um, resume, nothing. Okay, just open Google Scholar and give the name, and you will found that are you in this loop? Okay, are you in this loop? What is your H index? What is your I index? What is your citation? So what is the need of under project? Beauty of under project? You can increase your citation. You can increase your citation. You can say in front of the world that I am a researcher. Look into my citations. I am a researcher. I am a true researcher. Look into my index. Citation is... Why? why? You know, this is one of the major problems of Indian universities. If you are looking at Indian universities, as Harinas are told in the initial talk, some of the universities, are, some of the researchers are really well divided. Uh, scientists are there. But very few. Very few. You all... Please look into your Google Scholar. All the teacher, all the teachers in all the colleges in the world, I mean in India, you have to just look into your Google Scholar and look on your H index, your I index, your citations. How many people are giving citation to you? How many people are using your research? Of course, one of the problems of our those universities, our journals, most of many, many, many are not, I'm not talking it is bad or rubbish, but it is not up to the standard. Okay. Uh, we are thinking to do something and publish and get it. No, no, that is not the way. You have to publish in international journal, reputed journal. And you know, some the people all over the world has to cite your research. And uh, when they write the paper, they should say that as the Dr. Sherimon finding in Sinoman in 2019, this happened. And I am trying to do this on the basis of that. That is the beauty of the research. We have to come to that point. Okay. I don't know when our institutions are going to be known as research institution in that aspect. Okay. So, to get, I repeat, to get this indexing, to get this citation, you should be very careful about keywords. Okay. The first point is the keyword. When you are using the keywords, because when you are publishing anything, any project, any paper, please be careful about the keywords. Because the keywords which is looking by the world should be matched with your paper, your keyword, then you will get more citations. I'm giving some tips only. Okay. So, title of the proposal. Is it important actually? Don't write the title first. Write the title at the end. Write the title at the end. You know what I'm trying to say that, you see my title, I'm always, I, I, I always my love, I love my title because it is not because of my, I, I in the, in the Alzheimer project, when I submit that proposal, I have given the name with you. This is the name I gave with you an alzheimer patient is always looking for somebody to support so with you we are trying to make a device 
which is a personal assistant with you and even i remember when i went for the uh, presentation of that proposal the funding agency told that very very interesting interesting caption and even many of the reviewer they come in that beautiful caption of the proposal you don't give a proposal which is a title which is not understanding by people you can give a relevant one with you and a clinical decision support you have to give the when you read the because a reviewer when they read the proposal they have to understand what is the what is this project then that is the first impression itself so when i am getting a proposal i always look into the first line usually we read the second what is the research question okay please note that there should be a research question there should be a research question so what is the research question in the project i repeat when you are doing any project there should be research if there is no research if you feel that oh there is no research here don't proceed immediately stop that idea give up it will waste your time even though maybe you you may be able to publish as a paper but it will not give you the value okay then execute the summary in a normal paper publishing you say that abstract in proposal writing we call it execute the summary what is executive summary okay you know most of the reviewer most of you know i am going to give a session 3 hour today how many of you will be ready to sit with me very few i know that but if i am trying to finish within 1 hour or 1 hour 10 minutes you will be happy because you get the information so executive summary is the complete project in one paragraph maximum two paragraph maximum at the most one page even don't go over one page write in one paragraph what you are going to do what you are going to say what your result you are expecting everything you have to write in a proper way in a very precise manner then definitely every reviewer okay every reviewer you have to give problem significance research question hypothesis rationale everything you have to put in a one paragraph then it will be wonderful so that is because many reviewer they will not read more than the executive summary if they read more than executive summary that means the project is good usually when we read the executive summary we understand something then we will just run through it okay class finish throw it off but if you are presenting the executive summary in a proper way that this is my research i am going to do this one this is the plan this is the result i am expecting wonderful writing is an art it is definitely experience you can do that only you have to work hard behind that maximum one page i repeat it should be maximum one page maximum one page don't put any executive summary more than one page so introduction so statement of the problem and in, this is together in most of the most of the uh, international template uh, introduction and statement of problem you have to clearly describe the problem when you read it should be like a film story you know you should be the reader should involve enjoy that that one you have to clearly when we read some problems nobody will understand <laughs> even the writer is not understanding so please write the problem in a very uh, wonderful way writing writing you have my my request all of you when you are submitting any proposal you please give for language editing you please there are many language editing online uh, um, options are there especially native language speaker okay so that is very important actually language is very important the rhythm of the language is, i mean the grammar the spelling the punctuation marks everything is important because especially for the international reviewer so please go for a language editing language proof that is always good for you okay introduction you have to i'm not reading the slide i'm just uh, i would like to finish in 1 hour 15 minutes maximum or 1 hour 10 minutes and i will go for the uh, q and a session okay maybe i will take maximum uh, 15 minutes more uh, to complete the presentation then we can go for discussion because i prefer i i am i am expecting i would like to give value for more discussion okay so literature review so you please understand that when you are publishing a paper today 10 o'clock indian time morning 10 o'clock or even 11 o'clock somebody will publish at uh, 10 50 means your paper is plagiarized i repeat please note that plagiarism is every before 10 years 20 years back nobody can find out why it's very difficult but nowadays even if you write one paragraph and you put in google no need of going any turn it in or any other or something nothing not only, or even, even, even google, you can get the later topics and even the same writing is somewhere or not so please 
literature review, you should be able to find out the recent and the latest studies in that area. If you are not identifying the related, you have to specifically say that this work is going on this year, this work is published, and these are the drawbacks of that work. I am going to overcome that work. You have to specific research is an art, it's like a marriage. Research is a marriage. You love your partner like that, you have to love it. That is very important. If you don't have time, don't go for research. You say that, okay, no, I am not interested. So, because I, I am repeating my word. If you are not interested, leave. If you don't have time, no. This is very important, actually. Okay. You know, if you have any publication, if you have any publication in this area, it always gives value. Because when the reviewer reviewing your paper, your proposal, if you publish anything in that area, that means you are the world is accepted, the world accepted your 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 expertise in the area. What is the meaning of publications in the industry, in the research world? I publish, okay, that's all. No more question. I publish in this journal. I publish in this one. There are many fake journals. I'm talking about good journal. If you can say that, I publish in a Springer journal. I publish in a, that journal. No more question. The world is accepted your research. Nothing to say. When we are going, when I when I when I am getting the, the PhD thesis, or when there is good publications, I always think that. See, there is good publications are there, good journals are there. Then why I have to look into that thesis? Many thesis I will say, I immediately say, good. I am always looking on a thesis when I am getting, immediately I look on a thesis with the publications. If I feel that there is good publication and I, I go through online, and I read the publications and I feel that this publication is done, then why I should spend time to read all the thesis? No, I will not. I should not say this one. But even I feel that the world is accepted your work. Then why, as an external evaluator, I should not trouble you, I should not dig into you. Because the world is accepted, your research is worldwide. That is the beauty of publication. That's why you need funded project. You need money to, 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 I mean, to publish. That is very important. Objectives. Okay. What are the research objectives? Budler listed, you know, I wrote it here, Budler list. You have to write one, two, three. When we look on some proposal, there is no objective, mafia objective. Okay, no objectives at all actually. No. You have to specifically write, this is my objective. I am going to make it. I am going to do it. This is my objectives. One, two, three. Maximum four or five. Don't put more objectives. Very action-oriented. Action-oriented, uh, the, the objective you have to put. You know, this is very simple. When we read, you should, I should feel, I mean, the, the external, I mean, the reviewer should feel that, oh, this is good. In Malayalam, we are using always a term called kola. That is kola. Okay, this is the way we can say that actually. Oh, good. This is nice. Okay. So, such a way, you can have it. Such a way, you can have it. That is the beauty of uh, this uh, research. I mean that this when you are writing something. Okay. So, now you can, uh, now you can say that, okay. Uh, outline of the proposed activities. You know, whenever when you are going for any research, I repeat, when you are going for any action or in, when, in applied research, when you are going for any type of such, when you are writing the methodology, when you are writing the objectives, it is very important actually. Okay, so what is the methodology? What methodology you are using? Very important. Actually. Okay, when you are writing in the order, please make sure that. You have a wonderful, because how you are doing, you can say anything, but how you are doing it, write the methodology and with a proper implementation plan. You can use a chart table like this one, like a gun chart. So you can see that your requirement analysis and a hardware design, a processing, and a started character, then the, you know, this all are your, divide your project into all the components and you can say that this is your milestone one, this is your milestone two, how you'll be publishing, everything you have to put. It's a sample I'm giving, year one and year two, how you are going to do it actually. So this for you have a clear plan, how you are going to establish your research, that is important. Describe the benefits to the country. Okay, describe the benefits to the country, because I repeat, when you are applying for a project in Qatar or in Oman, in UAE, you have to mention that if it is for government sector, especially even funding agencies in the semi cadre organizations, you have to specifically mention that this is the benefit to this country. If you do this project, this is the benefit for your citizen. Country means citizen. 
you have to specific this is this is the specific area you have to clearly mention this is the benefit you are going to get from this one this is the beauty of this one economic impacts okay these are not there in the normal uh, paper publications economic impact you have to write that what are the potential economic impact how your proposal project will support economy okay how it will support economy early detection of breast cancer one of our projects one of the ongoing projects very successful projects in oman so when i presented this proposal i told that if you are able to detect the breast cancer early because there are many many girls having problem here okay so i told that if you are able to detect early you can you know what is the purpose of a government to save the life i got that project immediately there was even there was no budget detection for that project i remember okay you have to present that if you are able to save the life if you are able to find out your disease earlier what a beautiful research that okay such a, such a way i am giving you have to present it i am repeating go for a realistic budget go for a realistic budget okay you can see that uh, this is my one of my first uh, project which i applied in uh, 2007 uh, you can see that this project i got uh, 55600 oman real it is almost like a 1 crore uh, indian rupees 1.2 1 crore 2 lakhs it is it is my first project which i awarded from the uh, funding agency and you can see that see look we put consultant for the master student okay i had master students i have 18000 real i put for year 1 year 2 almost almost 70 lakhs indian rupees i put for the students stipend 70 lakhs indian rupees i got it okay and software purchase okay you can have computer purchase you can have laptop software website domain name everything you can give you know you look on this project i i saw that i have to make a website i have i need the domain name server space etc i need 1000 real it is 2 lakhs indian rupees not 2 lakhs exactly maybe 1 lakh 80000 rupees i told that this is the amount i need very specific software we need various software for that project we we put 7000 real not a big amount at that time and i need a laptop i put only 500 real look here only 500 real 500 real means it's come around 70000 in rupees or 80000 in rupees that's all very reasonable budget nobody can bargain nobody can ask me why you put 500 real for computer yes i need one computer one printer maybe okay simple example international conference sir to travel international okay any travel i could go there i could get the opportunity to go to stanford university because at that time a was very very popular there in uh, stanford university is in america so there was 2000 real it is almost around 3 lakhs 3 sorry 4 lakhs in rupees i got that money no i am not talking about money i am talking about the realistic budget you have to put always try to reduce the budget don't give any exaggerated budget so it will be you will not get the money okay so i am going to the end of the presentation now only three more slide summary of a good proposal what is the summary of a good proposal i know i i i i am going little fast but i have given you the idea only the idea we are giving start with a good idea the first step please check is carefully research is carefully researched then i repeat it should be match with sponsors priority funding agencies priority if you are going to a company in uh, kerala a food industry company you have to give any research with, related to them if you are going to some hospital and if you say that we will do this research it will be useful uh, university of technology uh, where my wife dr vinu is working uh, they had a project with the rajagiri hospital in uh, kerala so it was a it was a, a mask during covid 19 time and it was funded by the government of oman it was a collaborative work between rajagiri hospital and the university of technology muscat that means rajagiri hospital is also there they, but they are not uh, uh, funding any money but they are a, they are part of that research the doctors from that hospital and the hospital itself and the government of oman is funded for that one possible 
it is possible i will give a simple example okay so is it neat and well written another question i i am i am repeating this word please make sure that it is neat and well written then follows guideline carefully okay follow the guideline carefully <laughs> because every funding agency they may have a guideline you have to follow the guideline very proper way that is very important again describe the research the research the research i am giving the value for research what is your objectives what is your plan of operation what is your expect outcome the outcome can be yes or no don't forget it is research and your plan and timeline your plan and timeline do everything in a professional way definitely you can be successful okay demonstrate the cost effectiveness especially when you are putting the budget each budget give the reason always give the justification for the budget that will give you value to you okay so very important my last slide be careful about plagiarism be careful about plagiarism when you are copying something from internet immediately we can identify that anyone can identify that and that proposal will not be funded and that will not be considered for even though it's a good proposal if there is plagiarism it will bounce back to you please be careful about that okay so i have just given a proposal life cycle a simple diagram you can see that you have an idea okay you have an idea and uh, you write you write your idea okay then you submit to any funding agency no problem declined it is not approved it is declined okay usually what happen you fed up immediately fed up oh i worked this much i was very working very hard and i did not get of course you you when you are submitting you feel you expect that i will not get it keep in that mentality everything is our confidence our mental power usually what is going to happen we are fed up we are fed up no don't be like that try again try again try again okay try again think it think about it okay you can conceptualize again please you can conceptualize again 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 write and revise write and revise okay submit again fund it so i can guarantee that if you are behind it you please understand there is nothing in the world which is not possible everything is possible so getting a funded project is very easy please believe me if you are behind it and once you get a project you are financially you are stable because you know you don't have to depend anybody because you know this is a pro and more over the financial side you are committed you are committed to a funding agency to publish so once you get a funded project means you get minimum two publication if you have three funded one two funded project in a year minimum four publication in a year guarantee minimum guarantee this is the reason i always tell all the academies all the academies please be behind it please try for that okay please try for that okay that is very very important i repeat that is very 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 important okay so how to achieve the question is now how to achieve okay there is only two way one is hard work that i am going to give here you can see that second one is follow up you follow up everything what is our problem are you following up maybe after the seminar we think oh i will apply but okay but we will not follow up this is our problem continuous follow up will success especially in research this is my advice to all my fellow colleagues in all over the world follow up please behind it if you are behind it you will get it no doubt in that you have two options okay yes or no if you are going to you can select this road or this road okay there are two roads if you think that i am a lady i have children i have to take care of my husband all oh, please you may not be able to do any research if you are thinking but if you think that no problem i can do it 
I have a teaching load. I have that work. I have this responsibility. Everyone in the world, those who are working in universities, they have responsibilities. No doubt in that. So otherwise, you should be a complete researcher in a research institution. But as a faculty member, teaching, administrative work, everything is part of our life. You have to find out time. You don't mix. I always feel. I always tell my fellow colleagues, don't mix research and the working load. Don't think about research in your day time. The best time to do research is early morning. Try to wake up at 3.30 or 4 o'clock. If you are sleeping more than 5 hours, please stop sleeping more than 5 hours. 4 hours is more than enough. That is enough. You wake up at 4 o'clock. And 4 to, if you can, up to 7 something, 3 hours, you can dedicate your time for research. You can be a wonderful researcher and you can be a wonderful you can get many projects from any part of the world. This is my suggestion and this is my advice. Good luck to all of you. Thank you for listening to me. And uh, I, I would like to say a few words before I conclude uh, my topic because uh, uh, these are my references. And if you have any questions, uh, this is my mail ID. Uh, anyway, uh, this is in the YouTube. And anyway, as it is live streaming, you can directly it is from the YouTube. Okay, this is possible. Okay. So, uh, I back to the screen now. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Bharat Mata College, for this opportunity, and uh, thank you very much, uh, John Sir and uh, Dr. Adish. Uh, John Sir is always uh, troubling me with the external examination. John Sir is, I mean, John Sir is giving me one mail per month, uh, giving the candidate recommendations for the external evaluation, either from Andhra or from Kerala or from Tamil Nadu. Okay, anyway, I, I really respect you, John, sir, because you are one of the wonderful research guide of which we are talking about, especially myself and Dr. Sunny. We are always talking about you, your dedication towards research and uh, supporting your students. So uh, actually, usually, uh, nowadays, I try to say no to many colleges because of the time issue. But when uh, it is not by the college, I immediately say yes and even I told my wife also, uh, we have a relation with our college. That's why we accepted and uh, we come for this presentation. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, I would like to appreciate Dr. Adish also. He was continuously uh, behind me for the follow up. And uh, many of the messages, maybe I did not reply properly, but even he was very patient. Uh, thank you, Dr. Adish, for your uh, follow up. Okay. So I would like to expect the discussion. So if there is any questions, either to YouTube or even from the fellow colleagues, we can go for this question. Thank you. Sir, one, thank you, sir. One question is uh, from the uh, Ms. Remani. Yes, appropriate budget, how to use for a proposal nowadays? Like that one question from Remani. Yeah, uh, you mean how to prepare the appropriate budget, isn't it? Actually? Okay. You know, uh, you leave the funding agency because if you are a researcher, you should have an idea about how much money I need to do this research. Definitely. Because it is, it is you. You are writing the proposal. You are going to make everything. You are going to, you, you know how you are going to do it actually. If you have the clear plan, a budget will not be an issue. Definitely, you will be able to know that how much money. So use that money, appropriate amount, and give the clear justification for the amount you are looking for. I repeat my word again. Give the clear justification for the amount, even you can ask 10 lakhs, but you have to say that even medical projects need more money. Okay, you have to specifically mention that for this uh, equipment, this one, we need this money. So definitely it is possible by the research. Thank you, sir. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Please, please. Sir, how we can apply to these projects? Like I am a PhD scholar at yeah. IIT Khadakpur. So how can I go with these projects or from where I can find like what are the ongoing projects and all these things? Yeah. Uh, regarding the funding agencies, I told that especially in Middle East, when you are applying for any any funding agencies in the Middle East, most of the funding agency will uh, allocate, I mean they will uh, fund only to the institutions in the corresponding country. Okay, that means the principal investigator should be from the corresponding country. So, what you can do, 
you can collaborate with the corresponding institution so if you found that there is a funding agency you can send email because nowadays all the profiles are public all the universities are publishing the profiles so you can get the email id if you have an idea if you have a proposal in your mind you can contact any of the professors any of the it should be a phd holder so because uh, most of the funding agency pa should be a phd holder you can definitely ask you can contact and you can say that i am a scholar i would like to ha i have this idea i would like to collaborate with you i have such projects i am running such project okay even even some of the institution from india possible this is the way i hope you clear ms palak yes, yes sir thank you sir uh, one question please we are talking about uh, the funding opportunities for researchers uh, can you suggest uh, some options for uh, especially post graduate students and our undergraduate students those who are doing the ba bsc or bcom whether these uh, categories of undergraduate students uh, will be eligible to get some fund from international funding agencies especially from undergraduates point of view uh, you know uh, in a normal funding agency they never fund for any undergraduate or post graduate students. okay and especially in middle east middle east is funding for only the students in uh, that country only the students in that country even undergraduate okay we have projects but i am uh, i am promo i have a project collaboration with uh, st gids college uh, kottayam marian college kutikanam then uh, ukf college of engineering uh, kollam uh, there are all these are undergraduate students they are collaborating with my students so i am promoting it. if you have any good students the next call uh, we can collaborate no problem at all. see look what do you have to do you have to just send emails to the uh, professors in any universities in the world simply send an email they will respond most of the people the, if they are a good researcher definitely they will uh, they will respond okay our problem is we are not looking for the opportunity uh, most of the academicians in our uh, universities in india or even management institution we feel that let the management bring the project to us no you have to bring you know when i went to stanford i was i, I was feeling you you look into sanford professors their board everybody is bored uh, out of their door they keep the own going projects 1 2 3 4 i i feel jealousy on that days but once i get project i put in my front of my office i write all my own going projects which is the which is the real beauty of the uh, academician so undergraduate or post graduate everything opportunities are there Oper because nowadays everything is available in the internet so we have to grab it isn't it that is the that is a main issue it is possible according to my agenda according to my mantra everything is possible there is nothing not possible any other questions i think no more questions are there thank you if any, if any other thank questions you. are there please Uh, sir, I have a question. Yes, please. please. Yes, sir. Can you just suggest me any like uh, organization or any professor who is uh, like I am doing PhD in international economics? So, from where like to I can apply? Ah, uh, actually, you know, I am from computer science background. Uh, my my area is computer science and artificial intelligence mainly. Ah. Uh, Uh, maybe uh, you can have my email id okay please send an email to me keep in touch uh, i will try to find out something from uh, oman if uh, there are people okay, sir. i can try to help you at present i don't have anyone okay sir thank you thank you i think no more questions are there so now it is the time for a vote of thanks by uh, dr elsa mary jacob of department of msw please madam respected shadimon sir and all participants of this webinar warm greetings from bharat mata college as i as i am here to propose vote of thanks i am sure and i hope everybody my thoughts and words would represent the entire audience and undoubtedly it is a very it was a very informative session sir has uh, clearly explained about the relevance of a, of having unique topics research topics importance of interdisciplinary research 
and glanced through funding organizations, national and international, and showed us the gap where do we stand as a researcher and the components of a good proposal, the importance of publications, and how can we project our proposal according to the funding requirements. The vigor and enthusiasm with which Sir presented shows how much an ardent researcher Sir is. And we are truly motivated, especially that visual presentation of the proposal cycle. Uh, with that, we are truly motivated to write research proposals. So on behalf of Bharat Mada Research Committee and Bharat Mada Fraternity, Bharat Mada College, and on behalf of all who are present here, I extend wholeheartedly our sincere thanks to Dr. Sherimon, sir. And uh, along with that, I thank all the participants to, you know, for your patient listening and you know, active participation in the program. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Actually, uh, um, famous quote is by Dr. Uh, sorry, Neil Armstrong, research is creating new knowledge. Uh, the, uh, it is very true and uh, it is proving by the words of the Dr. Shreeman sir, it was a very wonderful session. Uh, so we are coming now, let's have a break for our uh, webinar and for the next session we'll start at uh, 1 p.m. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you all and I wish you everybody a good research well and I am expecting you will prepare some proposal and you will submit to somewhere and uh, by next year you may have some hundred project if you don't have. Wish you all the best. And uh, my wishes to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.